Even though we covered 546 nautical miles to make it here on Lake Erie, today feels like the real beginning of our journey. Probably because it's our very last day in Canada and we are heading to the US. You feel ready, sweetie? Can I get a hug? As ready as we're gonna be. Pretty excited though, it's gonna be fun. Port Colburn feels like another home because it's where we bought our first sailboat five years ago. After two seasons at Sugarloaf oh, Marina, we made lifelong friendships. This makes it so much harder to say farewell. Guys, love ya! And soon! Here's the beginning! The beginning of the journey! It starts now! Our mast is down so that we can travel through the Erie Canal and its very low bridges. into the US but it's just been so troublesome. I keep getting logged off of the Rome app. It used to work really good but now it is not working at all. So we're at Erie Bass and Marina, just got some diesel fuel and I'm gonna try to check in once again. Good thing you're in a happy mood. Trying to check in for well over an hour now. The Rome app that is, you're meant to check in. Oh, don't mind this, I'm not sweating. That's all Kai's jewel because I've been walking around with him in my arms to try to keep him calm. Anyway, I should get back just in case the video chat actually goes through, but when this app isn't functioning, it is ridiculous. And so you call the number that they say call for assistance if there's any trouble, and they basically just tell you to try again. So it doesn't seem like they have any other way of checking in aside from this app where the servers keep timing us out and um, we keep getting when we make it when we finally make it to the video call there's no audio on the tablet and just yeah super random issues and yeah so very kind of annoying because we really want to make sure to get it to our destination tonight and if we don't get checked in we can't do that and we can't stay here so hopefully this starts to go a little smoother No, it's, it's not the app, it's their servers. It says it right on the, the air. And we've been here for an hour, over an hour now. I know. Just waiting. I don't know what to do with it. I was still getting a bit of show distance before the night. So I'm, I'm at the like, point now we're going to go to where we need to dock for the night and continue I'm to check there, I guess. Because this is not happening. We're not going to get stuck here because... No, no I don't want to be doing work. the Niagara River in the night. Anyway, we'll try one more time and then head out. Success! <laughs> We're finally checked in. 
It only took, I don't know, close to 10 times of trying, but we're in now. Cora's excited go. too. Hey. Right, Salva? Thanks so much. Welcome to the USA! Oh, we made it. Feels so good to be checked in. Now let's go meet up with Alan and Kristen, get our autopilot, and hang out in Tonawanda. Feels good to be checked in, eh, Coral? No more stress? No. Time to explore. Now we need to go get some more groceries because um, I can't have most fruits. Il n'y a pas de dauphin ici, mon amour. Even though we clearly have enough clearance, it's still nerve-wracking going under these bridges. Well, there's a couple feet of clearance up there. Holy shit, that pole. Holy crap. Oh, man. Okay, we gotta take that down. That is so close. Oh, that's a bummer. Freaking, ugh, a little frustrated right now. Make it through the locks, literally an hour late for the opening because customs took freaking two and a half hours to get checked in. Yes, we left a little later than planned, so it's partially our fault, I guess, but this is irritating. So now we're turning around. Since we didn't make the opening, we didn't realize there was a closure at three o'clock. We're gonna go all the way around and go down the Niagara River. Hopefully we don't fall over the falls. Really nice thing about the Erie Canal is that there's a lot of free ducks all over the place or free walls because Corey says it is not a duck here but kind of is the only thing is that it's kind of awkward getting on and off look at this give you a bit of height perspective you kind of got to climb onto this and out but Super sweet spot. And it is free. It was nice. We went out for supper, celebrated getting into the US, and met some friends. Have your own space. So, yeah, it's really a big big difference to have that extra space. Movie night. Yeah, cuddle times with Coral and Daddy. Kai is starting to be way more interested in holding things. He is changing like crazy. Only three months old now. Where are we going, sweetie? We're gonna go get a cell phone and some groceries. 
Oh no, we're Oh no, shot. Coral. Okay. Oh no, you need your hat. <laughs> Wow, we've realized that we really took down our mask at a good place. We paid 200 Canadian in Port Colburn at Sugarloaf Marina. And if we were to do it here at Wardell's, it would be about like $550 plus tax US to get our mask done. Plus we would have to pay for wood and everything. So. Ouch, that's a big chunk of change. With my background working in as a rigger, stacking cell phone towers and stuff, I'm really not intimidated by cranes and stuff like that. So I honestly, I couldn't, I can't justify spending seven, eight dollars a foot. So multiply that by 50 or so for our mass to be restepped. So definitely gonna be trying to do it ourselves. Good job. Up, 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 up. Oh, you're so strong, Coral. <laughs> wow, look at our rock climbing girl. Wow. Good job, sweetie. Oh, it's a heavy bolt. Back to the steering wheel. The canal is so chill. It's so calm today. And we are on our way to Lockport, which is 18 nautical miles away. So it's not gonna take that long. Then we're gonna go walk around town a little bit. Good morning. Hey, Coral. This might take a while with those little mini spoons you're putting in. <laughs> You're done? That's all the sugar daddy gets? Okay, You thanks. cut off. You're eating way too much sugar in your Thank coffee. Thank you, sweetie. Well, that was incredibly stressful and my heart rate is going like crazy. I had my full workout today for probably the week. I'm definitely out of shape, let's put it that way. <laughs> so when we came into dock, we had current on our stern because I believe the lock was open. So it uh, was quite a bit of current here right beside the wall. Tried to reverse to slow us down a little bit. What happened was I slowed the boat down enough to hop off, grab the lines, so I got the stern line and Alex dealt with the bow line, but just the little bit of prop walk I did kicked the stern out and it got caught in the current. So I had to really manhandle the boat back into the dock, um, which man, 30,000 pounds of boat is a lot of, a lot of weight. A mental note for the future 
if there's current on your stern, at least for our boat, unless we're docking on the starboard side, we have to turn around and dock the other way, basically on the starboard side. We can't try to dock on the port side with current on our stern because our stern just gets kicked out to starboard and then we can't really control the boat very well. And when it gets sideways to the current, oh, that was hard to pull in. I'm surprised I even got it in. But we're about to eat some pancakes and enjoy some lunch before walking into Lockport. At this fancy, fancy wall, which is going to be extremely challenging to get up with Kai. I think I might actually put him down to try to do this. and stressful and uh, between Kai just crying bawling innocently the whole time and he's been super calm all day long which just happened to not want to do the locks I guess <laughs> and Coral climbing all over the dinghy and I'm just petrified she's just gonna go sliding into the lock sure she has her life jacket but that's not the type of place where you want to fall in and, and I'm oh, Oh, that was that was not fun. So I ended up between the locks. I ended up putting Kai below thick just because I was like, you know what? You're crying on me. I thought I would calm you down, but you're just gonna cry downstairs. It'll be easier to manage the locks. But oh yeah, yeah. because she was overtired. So we made it through. I was very scared of going into the Erie Canal as the two of us and two kids under two. <laughs> and well, we managed our first two logs, but whew. Life is beautiful. Home for the night in Middleport. Super quiet, there's nice grass, picnic tables. There's even shore power, laundromats and showers. Showers, restrooms are over there. They do suggest a $20 minimum uh, donation though. So we're gonna go give them a little something, charge up some batteries. Although to be honest, batteries are doing pretty good even though we don't have that much solar coming in. Very clock. Yeah, it's a tradition. Every time we have some more stressful type of anchoring or we finish a passage, Locking. we tend to have a couple beers when we arrive. Tomorrow, <laughs> we're going to sure. <laughs> Let's go explore. Let's do it. A lot of cold. Oh wow! Look at you go. Looks like a nice mural. <laughs> 